Fruit flies. Attacking that one there. Ooh, yeah, that one's playing around with this here chicken. You can see it's it's really crumbly. This is what you don't want. This thing is just past its prime. If you look closely at the pores, you can see they're very tight. And that's something you do want to look for. But in texture, you can see it's really crumbly. I tested quite a bit of the edges here, and that's what you want to do. You want to test the edges. And the rest of this mushroom will just continue to grow and spore out. It's not going to hurt anything. As you can see, I tested quite a bit of edges, and they all crumbled. And this is what you want to do. Uh, it, this looks like it's been mangled, but that's because it's so dry and crumbly that, you know, like, here's a good example. From the underside, this piece doesn't look so bad. Now, there are a couple little spots, sure, which is expected, but that's not. It's rather stiff. I go to squeeze it, and it just breaks into pieces. You can see all that little, hopefully you can see, that the flesh of the mushroom is literally just crumbling to pieces. And you can also see, I hope, these little guys. So this is something you don't want. Here's a really old one that you don't want to be touching. It blends in really well too. That is what you don't want to eat. As you can see, this mushroom is completely just disintegrated. These are the type of things. These are the type of things you do not want when you're looking for mushrooms. Although this should be fairly self-evident that you don't want to eat this. Give you an idea. I'm going to give you an idea of how squishy this is. It just turns to mush. It looks like bread dough. There's another bit of something you don't want when you're going for mushrooms. <clears throat> 